This is Craig Deleuze reporting live from the state capitol where everyone's talking about AB 1563, shall issue in the state of California. AB 1563 is a bill designed to clean up the concealed carry system that we have in this state. Now, the Bay Area has been a tough place to legally carry a concealed loaded gun. In California, whether you can get a permit to carry a concealed weapon depends on the local sheriff or police chief. In some counties, if you don't know somebody, if you're not politically connected, you have no chance to be able to legally and lawfully conceal and carry. CalGUN's president, Gene Hoffman, is a leading champion of Second Amendment rights. The problem, he says, under California law, local sheriffs have discretion and can abuse it. The sheriff can just decide he doesn't like you. Uh, that's not constitutional. A grand jury found the Solano County Sheriff may have had an informal policy of denying access and or discouraging applicants. The law says you have to show good moral character, and beyond that, here in San Diego, you also have to show good cause to get one. In its ruling, the Ninth Circuit said the county's narrow view of good cause violates the Second Amendment right to bear arms for self-defense. For too long, the civil rights of Californians and California visitors have been not only ignored, but outright infringed. In the nine-county Bay Area, the numbers are all over the chart. San Francisco, for instance, has not issued a single CCW permit in years. Marin County only has nine active permits, while on the other end of the spectrum, Napa has 359, and Solano the most at 451. The court made it crystal clear that the way that we implement concealed carry uh, weapons permits in the state of California is arbitrary and capricious and depends a lot more on who you know and how politically connected you are than whether or not you're a citizen in good standing. This bill is about equality and protecting fundamental human rights, the right to defend our lives in public. So Assembly Bill 1563 is scheduled to be heard on Tuesday, April 29th at 9 a.m. in Assembly Public Safety. So it's not too late for you to make your phone calls, for you to send your emails, or for you to go to demandrights.org and send a personal message to legislators telling them they need to vote yes on AB 1563.